sorry, there we go. Okay, so basically what we have here is we have our stochastics at uh, the settings of 5, 3, and 3. Let me just pull it up here for you so you can see it. The K period is 5, the slowing is 3, the D period is 3. And the MA method is simple. Okay, and we have our Bollinger Bands um, as you can see here which is the period is 20 and the deviation is 2 and then it's applied to close. Okay, now how this works is we're looking for price action. We see how as price moves in a certain direction if you see a close um, outside of our Bollinger Bands for example this is a long trade. It's a green candle closing outside the moment this happens, we ha we want to look down and see if we're in the over overbought or oversold area. And truly, since we're going up, we were in the oversold. So there are three points we look at. We want a close outside of the Bollinger Band, which was good. The next thing we want to look for is the overbought, oversold, which is that. And the third thing is once we close outside of it, we want to look for the opposite color candle which is we were long here it was green and we're looking for our first red candle so which happened right there uh, let me draw it for you here right there once that happened the very next candle we would enter short giving us uh, 11 12 pips on this particular candle we're 